Welcome to the RD.com YouTube channel. I'm Jonathan Breeze, the CEO, and this is a short video to go along with our health insurance page on health insurance special enrollment periods. Well, the law permits enrollment in health insurance only during specific periods during the year. There is an open enrollment period each year in the fall. Also, some life events can trigger a special enrollment period. So how to get health insurance coverage outside of the open enrollment period? So once the full open enrollment period ends, you can only sign up or change your health insurance if you qualify for a special enrollment period. So what life events trigger a special enrollment period? Marriage. You can enroll in a health insurance policy no later than the last day of the month. The coverage will begin on the first day of the following month. Children. If you had a baby, place a child for foster care, or adopted a child, health insurance coverage can start the day of the change. It can be retrospective, even if you sign up for insurance 60 days afterwards. Divorce. If divorce or legal separation cause you to lose health insurance, you are eligible to enrol during a special enrollment period. However, without loss of coverage, divorce or separation alone does not trigger a special enrollment period. Death. If you lost health insurance protection because someone on your marketplace plan dies, you would qualify. Residence. You may qualify for a special enrollment period if you move to a new zip code or county, to the US from a foreign country or US territory, to or from the place where you attend school as a student, to or from the place where you live and work as a seasonal employee, to or from a shelter or transitional housing. Note, moving or staying somewhere for vacation for the purpose of medical treatment does not qualify for enrolment. In most situations, you need proof that you had qualifying health insurance for at least a day during the 60 days before moving. Loss of coverage. If you or someone in your household lost qualifying health insurance in the last 60 days, you might qualify for a special enrollment period. Also, you may be eligible if you expect to lose coverage in the next 60 days. So losing employer-sponsored coverage, phase-out of an individual health policy that you bought yourself, loss of Medicare, Medicaid or CHIP eligibility, losing coverage provided by a family member. Employer help with the cost of coverage. If you or a household member gained access to individual HRA health reimbursement arrangement in the last 60 days or expect to in the next 60 days, you might qualify for a special enrollment period. And then other circumstances. Becoming a member of a federally recognized tribe. Gaining status as a shareholder in an Alaska Native Claims Settlement Act corporation. Exiting prison or incarceration. Starting or ending service with National and State Emory Corp, VISTA or NCCC. If you do not qualify for any of the above circumstances, you can enrol during the annual enrollment period from November 1 to December 15. If you think you qualify for a special enrollment period but were turned down, you can appeal the decision. So where can I get the lowest price on health insurance? Well, Ardy is the nation's fastest health insurance market. We can help you find the best health insurance plan. Our service compares Affordable Care Act and short-term plans that you can find the best fit. And on the screen in front of you, you'll see how quick and easy it is to start your health insurance quote. It'll only take you a few minutes, and one of our health insurance team will be able to assist you in finding your perfect health insurance plan. But for now, from myself and the rest of the RD health insurance team, keep safe and see you again soon.